Do you want to trade futures and options not on the index but on individual FNO stocks? Do you want to do that in an automated fashion where you don't have to sit by your screen all day and actually have to manually find entries, exits, stop losses and all of those things? Well, now you can on Algotest. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about FNO trading on stocks. We're going to be demonstrating how you can backtest stock options based strategies, how you can forward test stock options based strategies, and how you can live trade stock options based strategies. We're going to be doing this both on an intraday basis as well as for positional and BTSD based strategies. Make sure you stick around to the end or if you already know how to do this, make sure you skip to the end where we talk about some really important points that you need to know before you start trading stock options on Algotest. We've put the chapter in the description below. All right, now let's get straight into the video. I'm currently on the Algotest landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. I'm going to hover up to the nav bar where it says back test and I'm going to click on strategies. Okay, so we have three different tabs over here. You can see we're going to click on stocks, cash and FNO. So yes, you can trade stock options and futures, but you can also trade just the stock or cash. In this video, we're not going to talk much about cash because we're going to have a dedicated video just for that. But for now, let's talk about FNO on stocks. So we'll start off with intraday and I've selected intraday over here on the strategy type. Let's just do this using Adani Enterprises. Let's see. By the way, what I'm about to build for you is by no means a strategy recommendation. It is simply to demonstrate how to use the product and you must do your own due diligence before you actually trade on any kind of trading strategy. So go through the whole process of back test, forward test, and then algo trade. Don't just take the inputs from this video and start trading this strategy because it is not a strategy recommendation. I don't even trade this myself. All right, so we're gonna just choose Adani Enterprises for now, and we can take the underlying from either cash or futures up to you. I'm just gonna select cash for this video. Intraday entry time we're gonna leave as 9.35, exit time as 3.15. Scrolling down further, of course you can customize your leg wise settings and everything. Basically, everything else remains the same as the usual 9.20 based, index based strategies back testing. But all you must do is select stocks, cash and FNO in the nav bar. And then you can choose whatever index or rather stock you'd wanna to, want to trade and then add your input. So let's say for example, just as an example, let's add a stop loss of 30% and I'll just be trading a short straddle with a 30% stop loss. We'll leave the start date of the backtest as this and click on start backtest. Again, this is just a random strategy. So you can see the actual results for this strategy as per usual. And that's how you backtest an intraday stock options based strategy. Now let's talk about BTSD. So BTSD or STBT, whatever you like to call it, is essentially buy today, sell tomorrow, or you can even trade sell today and buy tomorrow, whatever you want. Similarly, you can add legs. Let's just keep our short straddle. And what we'll do is we'll keep Adani Enterprises. We'll keep the underlying from cash and everything else is the same. We'll just change the entry time as two, three, ten and exit the next day at 12. Okay, again, just, this is just random numbers I'm taking just as an example. And then click on start back test. So you can see, again, the results for the strategy as per usual. And that's how you back test a BTSD based strategy for stock options. Again, I'm not adding much complexity to the strategy. You can add so many things. You can add trailing stop loss. You can add re-entries. You can add lazy legs, all of those things. But right now we're just trying to demonstrate what the product is. Next, moving on to positional. Now we've had some queries regarding how the positional, positional bit works. We've got a dedicated video for this and I'll link it in the description below, but let's go over it one more time. So after you select positional, all the other things remain the same more or less. What you have here is you can choose the entry time and the exit time of the trading strategy, of course. And you can also choose how many days before expiry you want to enter and how many days before expiry you'd like to exit. Now, stick around until the end of the video, like I said earlier, to get an in-depth understanding of what you should and should not choose here, what you should know and not and keep in mind when trading stock options. One thing that a lot of users have been saying is if I select 24 over here, 
and click on start back test you get this error there are no results essentially basically no results now the reason for this is there are only about 14 to 16 trading days in the average month very rarely will you find a month with 24 trading days therefore we suggest keeping this at a maximum value of around 14 to 16 so let's try it with 14 and exit let's say maybe one day before expiry and click on start back test now you can see the results show up and you can see um, all the strategy parameters the strategy results and everything like that so please keep in mind there's rarely going to be a time when there are 24 trading days in the month on average there are around 14 to 16 maybe 17 trading days in the month so please make note of that so essentially that's how you backtest a stock options or futures based strategy on algo test now let's move on to forward test so i'm just going to go back to the intraday section for a minute and click on save this strategy i'm going to name this as example stock options intraday okay click on done all right now let's also save a btsd strategy we're going to name this example stock options btsd done now move on to the positional tab we'll select 14 days before expiry and one day before expiry and change the time maybe to 10 30 a.m and save as new name this as example stock options positional click on done now let's head on to the nav bar and hover over forward test let's first click on intraday forward test and let's select our strategy it'll be example stock options intraday right quite simply i'm just going to click on activate and this strategy is now running there you go so now the strategy has been sub submitted for execution and once the entry arrives it will start trading okay it's as simple as that it's very similar to how it is so there's no change in the ui when it comes to deploying either forward test or algo trade for a stock shop options based strategy so that was that now let's move on to forward test positional btsd forward test all right now let's search for our strategy once again over here in the search section we can just name it we'll just search for stock there you go example stock options btsd once again all you have to do is click on activate and then you select the entry time and the exit time you cannot change this first tab you can only change this second tab and i'll just leave it for the default settings and click on activate and the strategy will activate now moving on to example stock options positional it's it'll be right here so this this tab for positional forward test will only have your positional and btsd based strategies you won't see any intraday strategies over here as we've mentioned in previous videos we're going to click on so you can click on edit strategy to view the strategy once again or make any changes if you so like click on activate now here you're going to get a warning that okay you can't change this first tab now here this is very important as we mentioned in our earlier video about btsd you can't change this first tab over here this will be defaulted to the current day today's date is the 26th of uh, december 2024 this is what you can change when you would like to exit right you can change when you want to exit it and you can see a warning over here that says according to your strategy logic your entry was supposed to happen on 5th december 2024 activating it will take the entry today this means that according to the strategy logic that you've put in our case it was activate 14 days before expiry that would mean we should have started the strategy on the 5th of december 2024 we can still activate it now but you would want to change your exit time whatever you want to decide and you can just click on activate and it will do so so that was how to forward trade a positional stock option strategy now let's move on to algo trade so i'm going to hover back on the nav bar and go to intraday algo trade so currently the market is closed so i can't execute any of these strategies but of course i'm going to demonstrate how to do so in the intraday algo trade section you must have a broker login of course first and foremost after you log into your broker then what you can do is we'll select our stock option strategy search for it here example stock options intraday 
we're going to click on set up execution settings first and foremost and this is where you will obviously want to choose something specific right this is how you customize how you want the machine or the algo to execute your strategy one thing that we recommend all of you to do and we'll talk about this again in the end of the video where we talk about really important key points the entry order type we recommend you keep it to limit and not market we will talk we'll talk more about this later so once you've selected all the uh, execution settings you want click on setup execution settings and that's done now what you have to do is click on activate and the strategy will automatically deploy so simple as that let's talk about deploying a stock option strategy for btsd now back to the nav bar click on positional btsd algo trade we'll search for our strategy there you go the btsd strategy once again you have to set up execution settings and we recommend choosing limit along with whatever else you want to do set up execution and then you click on activate that same pop-up from earlier will show up which warned you that hey your entry should have been on 5th december but if you choose to do it right now we will still deploy it but it's just a heads up for you so make sure you're thorough with that and you understand that if you have any questions please visit our btsd video which we link in the description below and you can also ask us any questions or doubts you have in the comment section and we'll most definitely reply to you after you set up your ex execution settings just click on activate and the strategy will activate as per your logic similarly for the positional based stock option strategy all i have to do is first set up execution make sure i select limit orders and then whatever else you want to change you can change set up execution settings and click on activate once again that pop-up will show and that pop-up will ask you to confirm the exit date and it's also going to warn you that hey your entry was supposed to happen on the 5th of december not today so make sure that you are aware of that okay guys so that was essentially how to go about back testing forward test and also deploying it via algo trade in your, in your trading account but now let's talk about some really key points that you need to know before you start trading stock options number one make sure that you're back testing stock options don't have a lot of liquidity there's often a very wide bid and ask therefore we've decided to use the last traded price the historical last traded price as the price that's being selected in the back test report so the historical ltp is what's being used in the back test report to generate the entire report now since we're doing that the most ideal way to make your strategies match as close as possible although there will be quite some variance between live results and backtest results simply because it's a very illiquid product sometimes the best practices are number one make sure that you're backtesting close to expiry so keep your entry day maybe about six days before expiry that would enable higher liquidity when you're building the actual strategy and you're adding legs make sure that the strike that you're choosing is as close to atm as possible because the closer you are to ATM, the more liquidity the contract generally has. So that was point number one. Now, point number two is certain brokers have restrictions on trading stock options. Every broker is different. So make sure that you check your broker and what they allow, what they don't allow, when they allow you to trade stock options and when they don't allow you to trade stock options. Because like I said, it is indeed an illiquid product sometimes. And therefore, there are restrictions around it because of risk management. So make sure you check with your broker first. And point number three, try to avoid trading on expiry day. Now, since physical set settlements are involved when trading stock options, it is advised to not trade on expiry day as much because you run the risk of penalties because of physical allotment of shares. And it's just best to avoid that. To minimize the risks, avoid trading on expiry day for stock options. Now, as long as you keep all these key points when building and trading a stock options based strategy, you should be just fine. But always remember, back tests are simulations of what have happened in the past. They are no guarantee of what will happen in the future. And back tests involve certain assumptions as we've talked about. Make sure you adjust your expectations accordingly. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. We hope you really enjoy this new feature that we brought on for you. And we hope you make really good use of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Algo test. Test before you trade.